Okay, hello everybody. Today I'll be showing you how to download census demographic data at the block level. And the website to do that at is American Fact Finder. Just Google that. It's the first link. Uh, we're going to go on the advanced search. Show me all. I did this earlier, so it has, it remembers my search, but we'll just uh, put everything back to default for now and the first thing to do is to set the geography so click here on geography and the default is it's going to be set at the most requested geographic types we're going to change it to all geographic types in this search box type block and we don't want block group or we want the block so the census data comes in the census track level uh, you can also get it at the block group level so that data is going to have more information like um, income can be found at the block group level but not at the block level um, but the block level is the um, highest or the most uh, finer scale um, finest geographic scale so we're going to click on that uh, you can choose which census data you want we're going to go with 2010 uh, just choose any state you want let's go with california and let's just choose merced county california uh, you can choose a specific census tract if you want to narrow it down if not just click on all blocks within merced county add to your selections and this search parameter is going to show up up here in your selections once you've done it you can click close and then choose the kind of data you want. Um, there's people, basic count and estimates. There's all these different um, data sets, age and sex, age group. Um, I think housing is a very interesting one. Um, this one, household type, is a cool one to look at. Now you can click here on household type. And uh, you can see husband, wife, families, male householder families, and female householder families, which I think is all very interesting information. Uh, but if you open it and you see that's not the information I want to find, you can just go back to click on advanced search and it will remember your search parameters. And then you can choose another type of data. Uh, but we're going to go ahead with this household type. <laughs> And you can click here on download, uh, use the data, click OK. It only take um, a minute or so sometimes, and then click here in download. Now it's going to come as a zip file, and this, um, this is the data set, and then here's the metadata. So you can click here on the data. Um, that you just downloaded, it will open as an Excel file, though it's saved as a CSV. And here is all the data. These are all the census blocks, and here is the um, information, the demographic information you just downloaded. And if you want to know what these numbers mean, the zip file also comes with the metadata. You can just click on that, and then it shows that um, what these numbers mean, family households, um, so you have a key to your table. Um, now preparing to plot this or to map this in GIS, there is a couple things you will have to do. Um, first is that um, these two columns are not very useful for you. Um, these numbers, um, they're actually the block ID numbers. Um, and it actually starts with a zero for California is the zero. These first two numbers is the state. The next three numbers, I believe it's the county. And then these 10 numbers identify um, the block. Um, but we can delete actually these two columns. Um, and then we have um, this last column right here. Um, and you also want to uh, replace the dot the period with an underscore and then you can go ahead and save it like that 
Um, so that's your block level data that um, with the demographic information that you were interested in and then you can do all sorts of cool calculations with it. Uh, next, I'll be showing you how to upload that information in um, GIS. So let's find that those shape files. So the product is called Tiger. And if you just Google Tiger Block Census Data, um, it's this one, Tiger Line with selected demographics. Um, all the way down here, there's the blocks. Um, and this is the shape file that we want. And we want it for California, of course. And while that's loading, I think I already downloaded it. Let's try to find it in here so we don't have to wait for it to download. Tab. There we go. And this is the shape file. Just copy it here to my GIS. Close this file that I accidentally opened. Then I, I just moved it to a folder that's accessible from my um, GIS. So here it is. Um, let's actually turn it off for a second. Um, if we go back to our table, you see that, um, so as I've said, the first two numbers is for California. The next three numbers are the state. And here we are then able to um, narrow it down to just the county we're looking at instead of mapping all of California because that would just take a very long time on my little laptop. So now we have just the county of Merced. Even it, even there it down, it's a little slow. So there it is. These are all the blocks in Merced County. And then if we open the attribute table, we can see that this block ID um, field has the numbers um, that match our block numbers here. Um, but in our case, there's a there's some extra numbers in the beginning. And what we want to do next is to just uh, changes so it matches the uh, numbers in the shape file. So we'll call this geo ID again. Get the right 17 characters. Um, and we want to keep the letters US. Here we'll paste it, copy this column, paste it as numbers. We can get rid of these two. So we want to keep these first two numbers so that the CSV is saved, um, so that this column is saved as a text file. Because if we go here, um, this is actually a string. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we can save this. Once we've modified it, let's go back to our GIS folder. We'll call this um, household type at the block level. Save it as a CSV. Save it. Yes, and we can close this. And here we're going to add the table that we just made. So now we have this table um, that has our demographic data that we just made. And then we have the attribute table of the shape file. 
What we have to do next is join the two. And here, if we open the attribute table, we can create a new field. Let's call it geo ID. This is going to be a text um, field. Let's just give it a length of 25 characters. And then here we're going to field calculator. Okay. We're going to just add the letters US to the block ID 10. Okay. And we're doing all this so that we can join the shape files with the demographic data. So now if we right click here, we can see that it's a string and these numbers match our table, which is also a string. You want to make sure they're the same type. And to put the demographic information in the block shape files, we're going to right click join. Um, so we will join the geo ID, the field that we just made with the household type block um, data. And in there, we're going to use the geo ID field. Click OK. Now, if you open the attribute table, you're going to see that Um, the two have joined. So the geo ID of the attribute table with the geo ID of the demographic data, um, JS matches them, and then we have all this other data in there. And just to be safe, we want to save this new that we created um, as its own shape file. So um, they're linked together and saved as one one file. So we can call this household type. We can call it the same thing. And it will be a shape file. Save. Save. This may take a couple of minutes because my computer... Ah, there we go. Yes, and now if we click, right click here, you can see that you can remove the join in this original shape file. But here, you cannot remove the join. So this is a new shape file that you've created that has the demographic data um, with the block groups. And then you can just delete the ones that you do not want to use. Um, and there you go. You have demographic information at the block level data. Go ahead and have fun, everybody. Thanks for watching.